AFTV, Curtis, um, shocking. That's all I can say today. Shocking. Absolutely dominated by Aston Villa. Um, I think the warning's been there in a few of the home games. We, we had the defeat against Leicester. We weren't great against Sheffield United. We weren't great against West Ham either. Hmm. Did the manager get it wrong today? Not only did he get it wrong today, Robbie, I think the job's too big for him. Um, simple as that. And, and that's not reactionary from just tonight's performance. I think last season, um, we finished eighth in the league. I know it wasn't him the whole season. Um, we got knocked out to Olympiacos. I think the FA Cup was a great way to finish the season. But I think that's covered up the cracks. And I think this season, to lose four games out of Europe in eight, the style of football that we're playing, the stubbornness of the manager not to change the formation, the team selection, you know, baffles me, mate, baffles me. The fact that fans had to pay £15 to watch that game tonight and watch a performance like that. You know, Aubameyang, two games, no shots. Best striker at the club, one of the best strikers in the league. He's playing left wing and tracking, tracking back. We're going to ruin him. We're going to ruin him. He won the golden boot two years ago. He was one goal off last season. He'll be lucky if he gets 15 league goals this year if we keep picking him there. Crazy decisions. Having said that, the players should be ashamed of themselves. That performance was an absolute disgrace. That's probably the worst performance since Baku for me. Um, they could have beat us five or six nil. Let's be honest. We made Jack Grealish look like prime Messi. That was an incredible performance from him, but we didn't lay a glove on him. You know, who put a tackle in on him? And That's let what him I, was go saying. I was saying earlier, right, that Jack Grealish, normally if you look at the stats, he's one of the most foul players in yeah. the Premier League. Yeah. And that's because that's because defenders are like, right, I'm gonna put something on him or midfielder players say, we need to slow him down a bit. We need to we did it, we didn't foul him once today. We let we allowed him, and he's a great player, taking nothing away from him because he was exceptional today. We allowed him to do what he wanted to do. And if you allow players of that quality to do whatever they want to do, they will dominate, and that's exactly what he did. Not Justin, by the way, mm. Ross Barkley as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. McGinn, the whole of their midfield, basically. I didn't understand it. They scored after 48 seconds. We got away with that. And when they scored and it got disallowed, I'm thinking, come on now, wake up. We never mm -hmm. woke up. You could see they were overpowering us and outrunning us in midfield. But the manager never changed it. He left us with two in there and they got outrun for the whole game. As you say, Sheffield United... We hung on for a 2-1 victory. There were signs there. West Ham, they hit the bar, 2-1. Fulham was a good performance, but let's be honest, man. Fulham are soft this year. Do you know what I mean? Man United was the, the display that I can say, yeah, that was proper. That's why it's so disappointing, isn't it? After Man United, you go and do that at Man United. And then literally, I think what disappointed me so much, and I, I said it even before the game started, I'm like, all right, it's the same team against Man United. No, this is a different game. Mm. Man United, I understand that selection. This game, I didn't understand this selection because I'm like, I want to see us on the front foot at home. I thought yeah. we should have had, we, you know, why don't we have a free in midfield in a game like mm. this? And I was disappointed that Pepe wasn't starting. And he looked a little bit threatening when he came on, but he's not, not enough time to do anything. No, it was too little, too late. And I've got to be honest, Robbie, like, I mean... In all the time I've been an Arsenal fan, this this little period since the start of the season, probably some of the most boring football I've ever seen at Arsenal. You know, nine goals in eight games when we've got the most expensive front three in the Premier League in terms of Pepe, Lacazette, Aubameyang. No one has a more expensive front three than that. Every single attacking player... If you look, Lacazette, Aubameyang, Pepe, Willian, Eddie and Ketia, not one of them is in form. Not one of them. And that is no coincidence. That is down to the manager. That is down to the style of football. We're playing like we're scared. Aston Villa came here tonight. They were fearless. They lost 4-3 to Southampton last week. They came here and battered us. How quick were they? They were 4-1 they they down. Yeah, at home. <laughs> You know, and you know, and they lost their previous one, was that that 3 0 to mm. Leeds? 
So it's not like they were coming in, you know, it was not like they were coming off, off the back of that 7-3 that they had against Liverpool. They come in the back of two bad defeats. Yeah. And I was shocked with what I saw from Arsenal today. I mean, Rob, listen, you know you're, you know you're my dog, you know, but I've got to pull you up, you know, and some of them, man, because some man have been getting carried away with Arteta, all this trust the process business, all that. We've seen this before. Fulham away, Emery, we've got our Arsenal back. We, we thought we was there in the promised land. You know, we won the well, FA Cup. Well, hold on. So what are you saying then? Get rid of him now? I'm not saying get rid of him now because we haven't got the board that can fix what we would need to do. If, if you get rid of him now, you've got to go to January and attack that transfer window. They're not going to do that. So I'm not saying get rid of him now. Well, you then, have to, then you have to trust the process. No, I don't trust the process. I don't, we, I, don't, do do? I don't even know what the process is, Rob. All right, so what do you do then? Listen, Arteta has to use this two weeks international break. He's got to come back and completely change. You know, I don't understand how a manager that coached under Pep Guardiola for three or four years is so timid and so defensive. You learn under one of the best attacking managers of all time who dominates football. It looks more like he learnt more under David Moyes when he was playing for Everton than coaching with Pep Guardiola. Where's this attacking, free-flowing football? I can't see it. Our attack is probably the best part of our team, but you ain't getting nothing out of these, man. Do you know what I mean? And listen, I mean, Thomas Partey, I mean, he's got injured today. He can't fix that midfield by himself. Gabriel can't fix our defence by himself. The problem with Arsenal... There is glaring weaknesses in the team. You look at Liverpool, Man City, you, you struggle to find much weaknesses. You look at Bellerin, you look at Holding, you look at Xhaka, Mustafi, these guys, uh, you know, we've rewarded them for mediocrity for too long. You know, you see what Grealish doing to Bellerin. I had a guy messaging me yesterday saying, oh, you know, you've criticised Bellerin, he's back in the Spanish squad. If they'd have saw that performance tonight, they might pull him out of the squad after what Grealish just done to him. I mean... I just think the manager for me, I think the job's too big for him. And I kind of feel sorry for him because I feel like the board put him in a position that he's not capable of handling. The job was massive. It's not just sorting out the formation and the system. You've got weak mentalities in that dressing room. That's why we can go to Man United and pull off a win. And the next week we just turn up and think, yeah, we beat Man United. We'll beat Villa. They're, they're not as good as Man United. And we got turned over. We could have lost 5-0 tonight. And that's what you have when you've got a weak mentality. They're like naughty, naughty school kids in the classroom. This is why for me, and I know yourself, troops and people have pulled up me and Laurie and that before. This is why I wanted somebody like a Mourinho, like an Allegri, because you need real leadership in that dressing room because a lot of those players, they will throw you under the bus. When you think you can trust these guys, they will get you the sack like Emery. Emery's second in the Spanish league now. He's not a bad manager. It just didn't work for him at Arsenal. You can't trust these players. They'll get you They'll get you P45, which is why I feel like we needed a manager who's a winner, who's going to stir things up and say, listen, forget all this madness and all this Europa League business. We need to get back in the Champions League. I wouldn't even want us in the Champions League right now. We can't go and play Bayern Munich like that. We'll lose 8-9-0. Do you know what I mean? So I, w I, was, I was happy for that game to finish 3-0. That's how bad it was, you know. With 10, 15 minutes, I'm thinking, they look like they're going to score every time they attack. And I'm looking going, Gabriel is 22, just come from the French League, and we're looking at him to carry our defence. He needs a leader next to him. You know, David Luiz has been that leader. I was surprised he didn't start. Mm. Um, but where do we go from here? Leeds away, Wolves at home, Tottenham away, next three games. The manager has got to change. I mean, I don't think we should sack him because the club won't fix it. You know, I think the board have got a lot to answer for. You finish eighth and buy two players. All right, we got Willian on a three. Two players can't fix that team. That that team needs a lot more work. We've got too much deadwood there. If you're Meza Ozil now, you're sitting at home going, okay, you know, I've criticised Meza Ozil a lot. But there was a space for him in that squad somewhere. We know it came from higher up, no matter what Arteta says. There's too many question marks. You know, are you telling me William Saliba is not good enough to be on the bench when Fafana's top of the Premier League playing every game for Leicester? Who's made that decision? Where is that coming? Where's the leadership within the club? 
I have to say today, Robbie, I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. I was watching that game in embarrassment. You can get outplayed and lose a game of football, but they were at fault. They were at work. They were bullied off the pitch. They look soft. I've seen Bellerin bounce off Grealish. They, they ran through us, bruv, you know, and it's a, it's a bad day for Arsenal. It's a very bad day and Arteta's under a lot of pressure. Can he turn it around? I mean, what do you think? Do you think he can turn it around? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I do listen. I do, I do think. Listen, I do. I think it's um, it's a shame that we've got the international break because I think he would have loved to have gone straight into another game. I I do think he's going to put a rocket up that team. That performance today was unacceptable. Even though I think, and he's come out and he said himself that he made mistakes. Yeah. I do think the team was completely wrong today, and. I do think that he has to find a way very quickly to fix the problem with our attack. Yeah. You cannot have those type of players there and we are not scoring, we're not creating. It's it's not good enough. But anyway, Curtis, thanks a lot. Take Thank care, man. Cheers, man. Bless up. Nice. This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. Now you always see these promotions by bookmakers like Labbrooks, William Hills, Corals, offering a 50 pound bonus to customers. So you sign up and you might place a £50 bet on a coin toss landing on heads and a £50 bet on the same coin toss landing on tails. Now, whichever way it lands, it don't matter because you won't win or lose any money because you've covered all of the outcomes. However, you get the £50 bonus, so you're still £50 up. Now, lots of people try to do match betting on their own, but it's very time consuming and not always easy if you don't know what you're doing. That's where Profit Accumulator come in. Even if you don't know anything about sports, they walk you through everything step by step, showing you how to accumulate money into your bank account. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now.